Barcelona have a lot of problems to deal with. Rafinha and Ronald Araujo started a shocking confrontation during Brazil's elimination by Uruguay in the Copa America. It wasn't a pretty sight. Curious to know why Rafinha took his anger out on his own teammate, Ronald Araujo? After seeing the likes of Pedri and Lamin Yamal take on Ilkay Gundogan at UEFA Euro 2024, we've now seen two more members of his team go head-to-head -head in the quarterfinals of the 2024 Copa America in the USA. Interestingly, before the game, Rafinha was asked if he had spoken to Araujo before the match at the Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. He said, I don't like talking to opponents. The only thing we talk about is our family. We have a very good relationship. We talk, but about things outside of soccer. We talk about family. We don't talk about soccer, nothing. When I'm there, in Spain, I talk to Vinny, to Rodrigo, but about life. I don't think my position will change much. Endrick, Rodrigo, and I have the ability to adapt quickly to any position on the pitch with the national team. From the opening whistle, the game was marked by hard tackles and aggressive play, setting the tone for an exciting encounter. At the start of the match, the spotlight was on two young stars, Endrick, Real Madrid's new signing, and Ronald Araujo, a strong presence in Barcelona's defense. Endrick, brought into the starting lineup due to Vinicius Jr.'s suspension, was determined to make his mark. His aggressive style quickly put him at odds with Araujo. In a dangerous entry, Endrick arrived late and fouled the Barcelona defender, sending a clear message of his intent. Araujo, who wasn't one to back down, quickly responded with a shove, showing his displeasure with Endrick's actions. The tension between the two players was palpable and only increased as the game progressed. During a corner with the ball out of play, Araujo pushed Endrick from behind, catching the young striker off guard. This act did not go unnoticed, and suddenly, out of nowhere, Rafinha came running towards Araujo and pushed him to the ground. His love for his Barca teammate definitely disappeared at that moment, with the Brazilian prioritizing the well-being of his national teammate. An argument broke out. However, the situation didn't get out of hand, and the players managed to stay calm. Neither player was cautioned for the heated altercation. The game continued with its high stakes and physical play, but Barcelona's problems were far from over. Shortly after the half-hour mark, Araujo's night took a turn for the worse. While trying to block a cross, he suffered a serious muscle injury, collapsing in pain. The seriousness of the injury was evident as players from both teams quickly surrounded him, showing their concern. The Uruguayan medical team rushed to help him and decided that he couldn't continue. Araujo, visibly upset, was replaced by Jose Maria Jimenez. The incident was a significant blow for Barcelona, not just for the match, but potentially for their future games, depending on the severity of Araujo's injury. Ronald Araujo saw his Uruguayan team advance to the semifinals of the 2024 Copa America after a 0-0, 4-2 win over Brazil in the quarterfinals. According to Sport, Ronald Araujo could be sidelined for almost two months. Araujo was visibly emotional as he left the field, even shedding tears. The initial tests on his injury, although not entirely conclusive, don't offer much hope. The medical team are awaiting further tests to determine the exact severity, but early indications suggest that Araujo could be out for at least six weeks. If this schedule holds, he will miss the start of Barcelona's new season, possibly missing the first two or three games. This situation adds to Barca's growing list of problems. Even before the start of preseason, coach Hansi Flick is already dealing with multiple injury concerns. Pedri is expected to be out for around five weeks, while Frankie de Jong is still not fully recovered from an ankle injury. Now, with Araujo's injury, the team's defensive line faces additional strain. Araujo's injury couldn't have come at a worse time for Barcelona. His presence on the pitch is crucial, and losing him for an extended period is a significant blow. Hansi Flick will be virtually without a starting midfielder for preseason. Gavi's long-term injury definitely rules him out. With the midfield situation far from clear, Flick wants to include young talents from Barcelona's La Masia Academy in the squad. Top candidates include the likes of Marc Casado, Marc Bernal, Alex Garrido, Unai Hernandez, and Noah Darvich, all of whom impressed at youth level last season.